আমাদের এখনকার বিষয়বস্তু লেকচারের বিষয়বস্তু হলো আপার রেসপিরেটরি ট্র্যাক্ট ইনফেকশন এর আমরা ইন্ট্রোডাকশন ক্লাসিফিকেশন এটিওলজি এবং ট্রিটমেন্ট এটা নিয়ে আলোচনা করি respiratory tract infection are the infection infectious disease involving the respiratory tract and these are among the most common and important problems in the clinical medicine in developed countries acute respiratory tract infection account for the majority of the antibiotic prescriptions and 20% of all medical consultations and over 30% of lost days from the work in the developing countries nearly 20% of mortality in the children under the age of 5 years can be attributed to acute respiratory tract infection <clears throat> respiratory tract infection can be classified on three bases anatomical onset and based on source on the basis of anatomical basis it can be upper or lower upper nasal cavity pharynx and larynx up to larynx and lower trachea bronchi and lungs based on onset it can be acute or chronic both upper usually the lower are upper and chronic and acute and chronic the upper one mostly acute sometimes it may be chronic like chronic otitis media based on source it can be community acquired or hospital acquired clinical syndromes of upper respiratory tract infection includes pharyngitis tonsillitis tonsillitis laryngitis acute laryngotracheobronchitis epiglottitis rhinitis sinusitis ac acute otitis media etc we can we shall discuss the important ones only uh, laboratory diagnosis of upper respiratory tract infection all the microbial processes are involved and uh, of course the specimen is very important so a specimen is usually the first swab and two swabs to be collected one for direct smear and other for culture and sensitivity the types of swab that can be used usually flux swab are preferable dacron or rayon swabs are also suitable and for isolation of streptococcus pyogenes cotton swabs can be taken diagnostic methods include direct smear gram stain smear or if diphtheria is suspected albert stain smear culture depends on the bacteria suspected usually blood agar chocolate agar because streptococcus pyogenes is most common if diphtheria is suspected blood tilioid agar or if some other bacteria say bacteria gonorrhea is suspected the specific media nowadays molecular tests are uh, very popular if available real time multiplex pcr biofar film array which contains 70 virus and three bacteria in a single uh, cassette antigen detection test for streptococcus group a or sars cov2 is a popular antibody detection test are very less useful let us discuss about the pharyngitis pharyngitis is a most common upper respiratory tract infection and the most common bacteria is streptococcus pyogenes about 15% other streptococcus lies streptococcus group c and g cornibacterium diphtheriae one time it was very important now it is very rare due to vaccination successful a rare causes rare bacterial causes include arcanobacterium hemolyticum fusobacterium necroforum mycoplasma pneumoniae and neisseria gonorrhoeae in special cases abnormal sexual behavior cases viral causes are most common and these are about 85% among the viral causes respiratory virus influenza parent influenza 
corona virus epstein barr virus as a part of infectious nucleosis enteroviruses like coxsackie virus ecovirus enterovirus 71 less common causes include adenovirus rhinovirus herpes simplex virus or primary hiv this can be manifested as uh, in all cases throat pain is the earliest symptom hoarseness of voice can be present in viral causes difficulty in swallowing and drinking in most almost all causes enlarged and inflamed tonsil if it is associated with tonsillitis inflammatory exudates are present in case of viral pharyngitis pseudo membrane in diphtheria vesicles can be present in herpes and mucosal ulceration can be seen in infectious mononucleosis laboratory test gram stain smear of the throat swab is uh, helpful it differentiates differentiates bacterial from viral cause as well as from colonization to infection by presence of parcel so if throat swab does not contain any parcel only presence of bacteria does not means it is a bacterial infection rather it means colonization culture for uh, streptococcus group a c g coronibacterium diphtheri nasira gondoli are done immunological test like aso titer rapid strep test monospot test are available a rapid test for a group a streptococcus is unnecessary since if treatment antibiotic treatment is started after getting the culture sensitivity result that is adequate to prevent the rheumatic fever treatment the treatment uh, as the bacterial cause is only 10 to 15% and the main bacteria is streptococcus group a so it is targeted amoxicillin 1 g 8 hourly for 7 to 10 days is enough if patient is sensitive to uh, beta lactam then clindamycin can be given 300 mg 8 hourly 7 to 10 days or azithromycin 500 mg 12 hour, 24 hour once in a day for 5 days one point to be noted here that penicillin erythromycin and ampicillin can be may fail in 15% cases due to poor penetration in oral secretion or beta lactam is producing oral organism so we should keep this in our mind another thing is <clears throat> membranous pharyngitis due to arcanobacterium uh, we can doxycycline 100 mg 12 hourly for more time one to two weeks or azithromycin also first one dose 500 mg then 250 mg 24 hourly for one to two weeks bacterial pharyngitis due to mycoplasma pneumonia and chlamydiophilia pneumonia this is usually non exudative and acute sore throat frequently associated with laryngitis this is not which is not a feature of other pharyngitis this can be treated by respiratory quinolone like levofloxacin 500 mg or moxifloxacin 400 mg once in a day for one week or doxycycline 100 mg orally 12 hourly one to two weeks or azithromycin 500 mg 24 hour to daily one dose daily for five days in case of viral pharyngitis usually no antibiotic is required and viral pharyngitis due to respiratory viruses are frequently associated with hoarseness and it is not associated with high fever there is no exudate or palatal petechi and there is no posterior cervical lymphadenopathy but other causes like cytomegalovirus herpes simplex virus 6 can may be associated with increased liver increased agut or agpt and lymph node enlargement since many patients with viral pharyngitis are colonized with the group a streptococcus antibiotics not required if non streptococcal features are present and if 
sign of infection is not present. This is a, a simplified picture regarding the etiology of bacterial etiology of upper and lower respiratory infection. We will discuss lower respiratory tract infection in the second another lecture. You see sinusitis, pseudococcus pine, pneumonia, neophilus, implosion. Most of the, these times, and we will discuss when we, we will address the specific syndromes. Lower respiratory infection, the, these are the bacteria we will discuss in the second another lecture. Viral etiology, these are respiratory viruses mostly, rhinovirus, coronavirus, influenza, para-influenza virus, respiratory syncytial virus, herpes, adenovirus, Boca virus, and coxsackie virus. Same viruses are also involved in the lower respiratory tract infection. Now, sinusitis. Etiologies of bac sinusitis, bacteria, only 15% cases are due to virus and 85% causes are bacteria. And the most important is Streptococcus pneumonia and hemophilus influenzae, 33 and 32%. Staphylococcus aureus, about 10%. Moraxella cateralis, 9%. Anaerobes, 9%. Estrodococcus pyogens, 2%. Viral causes, uh, respiratory viruses, usually rhino, influenza, para-influenza, and coronavirus. Fungal causes are very rare and is usually allergic. Aspergillus is one of the cause. Treatment of sinusitis, if it is a acute bacterial sinusitis, which is usually characterized by uh, <clears throat> discharge, fever, etc. The drug of choice is levofloxacin 750 milligram or moxifloxacin 400 milligram, either per oral or IV, 24 hourly, once in a day, one to two weeks. Or septriaxin, one gram IV daily, one to two weeks, amoxicillin, one gram, eight hourly, 10 days, doxycycline for 11 days. Chronic may require prolonged therapy, up to four to six ways. And oral cephalosporin should be avoided because poor penetration into sinus fluid. And sinusitis is the common cause of overuse of antibiotics. Antibiotics indicated when there is fever, purulent nasal discharge. Otherwise, antibiotics are not indicated. Acute otitis media, this etiology, uh, bacteria is responsible for 92% cases, virus 70% cases, bacteria plus virus combinedly 66% cases, and no pathogen can be isolated in 4% cases. Of the bacteria, Staphylococcus pneumoniae again 49%, Hemophilus influenzae 29%, and Moraxella cateralis 28%. Bacteria plus virus combinedly 66%. Treatment of acute otitis media, the safety action, 50 milligram per kg IM daily. Amoxicillin, one gram, 10 or 10 milligram per kg per oral, eight hourly for 10 days. Clarithromycin, 7.5 milligram per kg per oral, 12 hourly, 10 days. Or azithromycin, telegram per kg per oral, one dose, then five milligram per kg, 12 hourly for four days. Candidiasis or thrush, this is also a problem. The most common agent is called a candida albicans. Sometimes non candida albicans are also present. If it is candida albicans, then usually fluconazole are sensitive to candida albicans, are sensitive to fluconazole. So, 200 milligram per oral one dose, then 100 milligram uh, daily for weeks, depending on the clinical response. Or osaconazole, 100 milligram 12 hourly, first day, then 100 milligram 24 hourly, next 13 days. Or clotrimazole, 10 milligram, process per oral five times a day. And itraconazole, 200 
200 milligram 24 hourly into uh, duration depends on the clinical response. If the oral thrush is due to non and candida, non albicans candida or fluconazole resistant, then osaconazole in large doses 400 milligram 12 hourly for weeks, boriconazole 200 milligram 12 hourly for weeks, and caspofungin 70 milligram. IV one dose, then 70 milligram IV 24 hourly weeks, or itraconazole 200 milligram 12 hourly for weeks. Acute laryngitis usually uh, due to virus, 90% causes are due to influenza, para influenza, rhino, adeno, and coronavirus. Bacterial cause very rare, streptococcus is the cause. Its onset is very abrupt, usually self-limited treatment, no antibiotic is required. Acute uh, laryngotracheal bronchitis, also known as flu. Viral agents include para-influenza virus, most important. Influenza, rhino, adeno, respiratory syncell, and enterovirus can also be associated. Bacterial cause includes only mycoplasma pneumonia. Usually it occurs less than three years of age. Potentially serious manifested by inspiratory strider hoarseness and non-productive barking, harsh barking cough. Treatment also non-symptomatic. Only symptomatic, no antibiotics. Rhinitis, it is mostly uh, viral. Paranovirus is the most common cause. Other viruses include influenza, para-influenza, adeno, respiratory syncytial, enterovirus, and coronavirus. Bacteria includes mycoplasma pneumonia, chlamydophilia pneumonia, and streptococcus pyogenes. And symptoms, running nose, sneezing, watery eyes with variable fever. Treatment, only symptomatic, no antibiotics required. Thank you very much.